And now for the most important part of cross country, the meets. At cross country meets, we always go out hard and try to do our best. We literally leave it all on the course, which means that it's okay to throw up in front of hundreds of spectators. Sometimes, you know you're really pushing it hard when the accidental saliva is projected out and happens to hit a spectator. Now, there are three main things that you need to pull out of cross country. Number one, make sure that you always walk the course so you know exactly what to expect when you're competing on it. Number two, make sure to always run your hardest and leave it all on the course, knowing that you gave it your all, having no regrets. And finally, number three, which is just look good when you're running. Yes, it may be painful, but oh boy, is it worth it. Now, I know I just filled your head full of information just about cross country, but don't take my advice for it. Here is Zach, one of the seniors on our cross country team. Now, Zach, define runner's high. Well, Jordan, I'd say a runner's high feels something like winning a track conference championship four times in a row. Oh, so like a four-peat. Exactly. Oh, that's great. Excellent. What would you say, or actually, how would you say cross country has shaped you into the individual you are today? Well, it's definitely made me a more motivated, goal-oriented person. Um, I think I'd cry if I couldn't run every day. Oh, wouldn't we all? When I wake up... <laughs> Do I really have to read the cue card? Uh, Zach, you know we're filming, right? You can just edit that out, can't you? Um, no, we're doing one continuous take to save time. We talked about this like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> he was just joking. Now, we have another member of our cross country team, Taylor. Now Taylor, what would you say the most memorable moment of cross country has been for you? Well, that's a tough question, because it's all pretty memorable. But I'd have to say the day we did over five miles of hill repeats. Oh what made that practice fun was the 87 degree weather and not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> what made it even more fun was the 50 push-ups in the middle of the workout. That was a great day. Indeed it was. Hills builds character. Now, we have another senior on our cross-country team, Jordan. Jordan, I noticed you just threw up. Would you like to explain? I just got done doing 800 repeats. That explains it all. Now Jordan, what will you miss most about cross country? Not puking every week. Oh, that's good apple juice. <laughs> you know what? Apple juice tastes the same coming up as it does going down. Splendid, that's wonderful to know. <laughs> oh, great. Finally, we have the last senior on our cross country team, Charlie. Now, Charlie, you just joined cross country last year. What was your first practice like? Um, it was an LSD, and it was raining. I was following Tim and Jordan so I wouldn't get lost, but somewhere I took a wrong turn. I was just a young, innocent boy who wanted to run. A couple hours later, I knew where I was because it felt, smelled really funny, <laughs> and I didn't see a track conference championship banner anywhere. I was scared when I realized I was in independence. What a horrible feeling. It really was. Gosh. Well, we'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Do you ever feel like you just never have enough energy? Do you ever feel like that run is just too far? Well, then we have something for you. From the makers who brought you Norsaid comes the next best energy supplement ever, Norse Bar. Throw away all of those other power bars and energy drinks. Norse Bar has five times the power, five times the energy, and five times the taste. Uh, uh, uh. Here, try this. That's delicious. Norris Bar has 150% of your daily fiber and 100% of vitamins A, B, D, C, and Q. And it has negative 30 calories. That's right, Norris Bar actually burns calories when you eat it. But don't take my word for it. 150% of my daily fiber? I gotta go. Norris Bar is pretty decent. Well, I had a lot of fun today. And I hope you learned something about cross country. I sure did. You know something? 
No matter who you are or what you do, just believe in yourself and live your dreams. We were all put on this earth for one specific reason. I know I was. Whether it was to run or to help make this somewhat humorous spin-off of our last cross-country movie. <laughs> you know what? You can do anything you want to do or be anything you want to be if you just put your mind to it. Right, Jordan? Yep, that's... <laughs> Are you kidding me? That stinks! We didn't even run, and this smells like apple juice!